This is Marcus here. I'm going to show you how to make a auto igniter using one of these things. So it's just one of the grill um, lighter thingamabobbies. So what you want to do is you want to take off this thing. All you need to do is pull it up. It should do that for most of them. Take this apart. I already did it upstairs. So now you should be left with this. Focus camera. It's not focusing for some reason. Yeah, this. Most of the stuff in here you don't need, like this tank and this right here. So, what you want to do is you want to take all these things out, take out the tank itself. So, you have that out. You don't need any of this anymore. None of this is needed. And then you're left with this. This thing. Then after that, there's an inner tube. Pull that out. Then you're left with this thing where the flame comes out. Hold on. This comes out. Once you do that, once you do that, you need to take this assembly out, which holds the battery. Then you need to disconnect the pipe. From that, you don't need this tank anymore. I'll probably use that for something else in the future. Pull this off. You're left with this. This. So once you're left with this, you want to... Hold on. This part would usually connect to this piece of metal. So after that, you have this. So hold on. Let me try to get this apart. Okay, this is coming apart. Once this comes apart, it should fold in half like this. Then you'll be able to pull all this stuff out. This is this part. What you would have is... Let me take it. You have this part that goes to here. And this part needs to be connected to a ground of some sort. So, this would be in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Uh, hold on. But in here, you see right there? There is um, a th piece of thing. Uh, what this would do is you would have this connected to this piece of metal, right? Have this connected to the piece of metal. And this would be connected to this where the actual flame would come from. So what you need to do is you basically need, need to find something that's a substitute of this. You could um, use this like, still. You could always put back the assembly, put everything back to where the way it was. Take this, put it to, through there. Put this up here. Hold on, I need to put this back in here. Snaps, you guys weren't aren't able to see this. Uh, put this back in here. Boop. Hold on. Yep. This, this part goes there, I presume. Nope, it goes lower. There, and this part goes there. Perfect. That's that. Make sure all the tubes are inside. Then just close it back up. And... I think I've, I know oh I got it. Bring this back down like that. This one goes in here. And this one is basically the one that has the electrical charge. You put that up there, and then all you need to do is press this button. Okay, I just shocked myself. That was cool. But yeah. Hold on.
I don't know how the quality is on this because my phone's autofocus is. I don't know how it is because it's the Note 3 and the Notes are known to have good, um, whatchamacallit. Put this back on. Hold on. Uh, what you need to do is I've just figured it out. Uh, disconnect these two pieces like that. Have this. This is ground, so this is a negative. Basically, you have this connected to um, uh, anything really. If we would take these two pieces together like this, take these two pieces together, hold it right there, and then we press the button, it'll create a spark. Hold on. Let me try not to electrocute myself here. So. I don't know. I don't know what. Okay, hold it like this, and you guys should be able to hear see a spark when I press this to here. Not yet. Eh. Hold on. this back here. Sorry, sorry if I'm failing pretty hard, but hold on. This is my first attempt at it. I put, took it apart upstairs while I was doing something for my granddad, and then I got the idea to do this video on it. You can make a housing of any of sorts. Uh, let's see here. Mm. This is big enough so let's put it in here pull this back out so let's take this right here and just drop it through the hole come on please be my friend This is basically the spur of the moment type thing. Oh, I, I, yo, I have a thing. The other day, we, no, yesterday actually, I went to bet, no, to BJ's. I don't know if BJ's, you guys would know about BJ's because it's kind of a, a Florida type dealish thingy. But I went to BJ's and there was this uh, direct TV salesman there. And. He was trying to pitch a, a deal to us. I don't know if you guys know this, but I currently have um, Bright House TV, um, 300 megs. So it basically strapes any other internet company. It just bends them over and shows them the 50 states. So, yeah, I was there, and he was trying to pitch me a deal. And, like, we, we started talking about internet speed and internet plan and how... Uh, Bright House TV is a lie, and it doesn't actually show true t 1080p because of the black things. And I was like, I'm, s I'm not to be rude or anything. My uncle was there. Not to be rude or anything, but um, no pitch you're going to pitch. No nothing you're going to pitch to me at this moment is going to be better than the current deal that I have with Bright House. And then he asked me, what do, what do I have with Bright House? I said I have 300 mags with them. Uh, last time I talked to them, I uh, they asked me how long I've been with them. I said, um, a year or so. And then he was like, he was like, uh, hold on, hold on. He asked, uh, I'm kind of getting distracted here because I'm trying to do this and talk at the same time. But he asked me, uh, what do you get? And I said, I get, um, save some stuff for me because I'm doing a video really quick. Uh, I get 300 megs, epics for the next 24 months because I'm on their royalty program. 
epics for the next three months, next 24 months, I, sh I should say. Uh-huh, there was a tiny, tiny spark right there. Hold on. There was an itty-bitty spark right there. Hold on. Yep. Ugh. Let me push this back up. But I was making like a little tiny arc there. Okay. Hopefully. A little bit closer. Okay. There's a tiny little itty bitty. Hold on. Let me turn the. Oh my god, my finger hurting here. Eh. Trying to get my finger in the light. Right there. I'm gonna turn off the film and turn off my. Um, whatchamacallit. And then I'm gonna turn off my uh, monitor so you might be able to see it better. So, yeah, hold on. Before my so. thing turns back on. Oh, my monitor keeps turning back on. Nigga, tell me what I do. Uh, well, there's a tiny spark. I can't really show you guys because okay. my monitor's on and I don't want to completely turn off my computer. But yeah, uh, this is how you harness one from this. Basically, all you need, you can put in a little housing, you can have the button going off to the side, you can get one of those little mental cans, put one inside, hold this on the uh, other side, then rip off a piece and put this in, and then you just have a little spark system there. Uh, if you are smart enough, uh, I don't have the resources right now, but I'm sure I could do it. What you can do is instead of having this button, you can leave this little part right here, take a fuse, put it inside of it, and then try to make a spark, and you can have an automated spark system if you uh, hook up some wireless um, or wireless terminal and things like that. So yeah, uh, this was the video. Uh, yeah, my computer screen. Yeah. So yeah, um, you guys have a good day. And bye.